And Dave, you know this area well. I'm live at the Sacramento Weir, and when the state wants to, it can open these gates and release pressure from the Sacramento River to prevent flooding. It's just one of the many tools the state has to stop flooding before it happens. It is a powerful sight. Water in Folsom rushing through the gates of the Nimbus Dam. In the foothills, raging down Wolf Creek. This onslaught of water, all leading to flood concerns across our region. Always got to be on alert once the weather's going up and down like this. Restaurant Swabies on the river is on flood watch, prepared to see the Sacramento River rise right up to its outdoor tables. This weekend, it's going to get pretty close to coming in the yard here. Uh, the boats will be, definitely be about eye level. Two years ago, flooding forced the business to close. We're on increased staffing. Inside the California Flood Operations Center, staff is monitoring how much water is filling up rivers. It will start flowing at 11 a.m. tomorrow. And flowing through weirs and reservoirs. A reservoir coordination group talks several times a day to make sure that we're not too, putting too much water in the system all at once. This atmospheric river of rain, a welcome super soaker. It's going to get pretty close to coming in the yard here. Also, raising concerns over rising rivers. And uh, as we know, uh, this particular atmospheric river comes just one week after a new scale ranking atmospheric rivers was released, a one to five category scale. And tonight we're told by the Scripps Institution of Oceanography that this particular uh, atmospheric river is ranked fourth, which is hazardous, but partly beneficial as well. That's just uh, one week into this ranking status. Dave. All right, thank you so much. Steve Large there by the Sacramento River and the Weir. All right.